Welcome race fans. Last weekend, Redline Raceway was the host to the final round of the CNH Trucking Pro Sprint Car Series. It was an all or nothing round. The final championship society. It all came down to the final race. We've got all the action for you here on Speedway Media. We hope you enjoy it. Alright fans, it's time for the final round of the CNH Trucking Pro Sprint Car Series. This is it. It all comes down to this. We see Dennis Jones of the V17 just in the background there. It comes down to this race. DJ Dennis Jones has a points lead. Jeremy Wrench still not out of contention. But the form so far tonight we have to play the Dennis Jones at this stage. Starting about five or six spots ahead of Sammy Wrench. And Sam has had some issues really finding his feet. Sammy has had a win here in the Sprint Car feature at uh, Redline a season or so ago. So he does know his way to victory lane around here. But tonight he's not quite come to get a problem. As we do our four wide salute to you, the fans in the stands or in the crowd, in the cars at the moment. And we need to apologise also at this moment. We had a couple of technical issues with the camera. So apologies straight up for that one. There it is, the famous four wide salute with Solomon Stephen Loader, Zach Barra, Matty Simons. And it's the first four guys, and then it goes on the back of those guys. So nice four wide salute fans, the Hardy Race fans, it is cold by now, let me tell you, and uh, these guys are uh, going us up with some awesome sprint car feature race action, hopefully, we go back to two wide, Chris Solomon, Matt Simmons, Stephen Loder, Zach Barra, Luke Cole, Dennis Jones, Josh Bucking a little bit further back than I would have expected from him. Roll around one more lap behind the pace car, just getting it back to the two wide formation. Great field of sprint cars here for you. Simmons Engineering, SWI Earthworks, Southwest Industries Earthworks, VA70, beautiful looking cars, just about every single car in the a fantastic looking car. Standard presentation here is awesome. Come round now, we're set to go, they the line together, and away we go. Solomon straight into the lead. Nice jump by this not a good break in it. He's got a down in turn one. He's pretty happy with the track. He's got plenty of laps of time in his belt at the racetrack. That's his right a few years now, just Solomon. Father of all, Ronnie Donaldson, a former sprint car racer of much speed. As we've got a drama up in the top there in turn three, four. That is Travis Miller. Yeah, a little bit of an issue with the transponder too for Miller. Uh, so we've got him to turn around and put back in his place. And Solomon again gets that good jump. See what we saw there up the inside of Matt Simmons. Billy made contact there. Good clean race for the boys. So now we've got a lap down there. For Solomon in the lead. A big gang of cars behind. Oh, who was that? Stephen Loder had a moment up there. One and two, sorry, three and four, and had to jump the berm, get across the infield, he's dropped from second or third place to right at the back of the back. That is exactly what you do not want to do. Chris Solomon, though, look at the oh, Chris has got around. Why? What have you done? Oh, okay. it was a uh, red light stopping there. We had a couple of cars come together, one up, one down. So that was all good for Chris because he actually stopped after the red light came on. And uh, Chris Jones joking to see later on. Turned around to see where everyone else was. So uh, we've restarted, we've cleaned up the mess, and just hold them back out front with Simmons. Matty Simmons, Dennis Jones. This is perfect for what DJ needs. Remember, this is it, the championship side It all comes down to this final race. Nothing else. As they say, when the green flag drops, it will get stopped. It's a DJ, it's a Sam Green. It's a Maddie Simmons. That's our top three. Maddie Simmons doing okay. He's in uh, second place there. So he's racking up the points, but he needs to uh, be way ahead of him. So he's got one place ahead. As we saw now, Rose Lee runs around the outside of Maddie Grist. Maddie Grist in uh, Spring Dungeons, making um, eh, maybe 10 shows over the last few years. And he's got his feet with the machines. was unstoppable in his sporty, though, in the day. Another lap under those wings there. Matty Simons, Chris is a nice little gap there. Looks like a huge gap, doesn't it? But in actual fact, only about one to one and a half seconds. So time-wise, it's not a big gap. 
but it appears to be a bit younger than that is because of the speed of the stars and you've seen Matt and Silas down there for one or two. Great race track, Red Line Raceway over the years. It's so much work, it is such a historic and famous track. Uh, and, you know, Decades. In the last decade and a half, a lot of work we've done to wind the track, change the profile. We have this nice little downhill run there, turn number one for the sprint cars. They love it, they power down there. And we've got trouble up there, Jeremy Dumps in the 47. Great see Jeremy back out here after that issue in uh, heat number four. And uh, we believe it was a power steering issue rather than an oil pump or an oil leak. And that was the reason we shut it down just uh, finding a very hard to see in the car to go. So uh, we start now. Chris Solomon gets a jump again. Jemstone's well, Jemstone's a little slow there. And draws a pile up behind. And we've got Andy to give it up right now. So Dennis Jones got a little bit of a momentary bubble in three and sorry, one and two. Luke Cole got sideways, trying to avoid and unfortunately Andy to give it in that one he has gone up right now. So we restart again, and away we go to Solomon again. He's just getting some nice runs. It's a little bit easier. Look at that. He's never easy to drive the street car fast. But it's a little bit easier when you're off the front, and you've got clear vision, and you can pick the line if you want. And he does it beautifully. He's starting to search a little bit now. Looking for the better line, the optimal line. Probably dusting the track off. Three cars on the great thing. He's still at a race track in a heartbeat. Uh, all through the night has been good with some ants and uh, the moisture in the track has been an awesome race. So you bring out the quick down from the big sides, the big horse mouth, it doesn't take them long. Uh, start to dry it out a little. It's dried out a little three and four, so it's just now starting to move around trying to find the moisture. Looking for the brown part of the race track, as they say. But he's doing a good job there. It's a little wide his exit off four. It's a little bit wider than the rest of the field case. Doing a great job back there, second place, trying to hang on. Dennis Jones in for third. And the championship again, oh, they all got a little wide there, didn't they? Chris Holland almost came to one track wall. Simon's a little bit uh, wide on the exit also. So here we go. We'll have some starting to wind down now. Chris Solomon doing a nice job. Steady job out front. Simmons. Got Dennis Jones a little further back, so they've got a fairly sort of toxic gap between them as they're going around Matty Chris for another time. That actually looked uh, half fast at the start of the I'm not trying to be disrespectful to Matt Chris at all. And the pair of scissors can say he has got a couple of turns with a sprinter as much as, or as quickly as he would have hoped, but he rolls around there, getting faster each time, and generally he's pretty good. He doesn't get in anyone's way, he doesn't cause any issues. As you can see now, Solomon up inside of J.D. Hayen. He's going all the driven by Martin Green, but uh, Hayen is a stable mate if you like. To the Skidmore family, they both come from the country of Victoria. In fact, they share a workshop. And uh, the original plan was to put the engine of the car in. He runs a drop ring midget. Uh, but put his license sorted out in time, I'm told, by Marcus. So they went, all right, well, let's go to the station. We're going to run our car. Jamie Norman runs the 14 and open the trip down. Chris Solomon out front, it's all good for Chris Solomon as he comes up on the back of Jack Van Bremen for the A16. Jack's had a pretty good season. Got quicker and quicker as it's gone along. A little bit of frustration now and then with uh, engines and whatnot. But Chris Solomon out front is doing an awesome job. Stripped away there. If you love it, Brad Fox is the car owner. We'll be having a good time as well. Brad and his young son. One more lap down to the Solon. I think it may be one more to go. No, uh, that should be about it for the feature. So the Solon will go on to take this one from Dennis Jones. And then Maddie Simmons in third place.